Hello everyone, this is GabCat242. Here's my review on the Star Wars Black Series, The Force Awakens, Cat and Phasma figure. So this is a very sought after figure by most collectors. I know a lot of people are trying to find her and well, here she is. And out of the packaging, well, I have some things I do like about her and there are some things I kind of have some complaints about. And I'm gonna get the, the bad stuff out of the way first. So um, for one, her armor, it's not as shiny as it looked in the in the movie trailer. I mean, the design looks good, but it's not going to be that nice shiny chrome look as we saw in the trailer. And also that cape, it's very stiff. Um, actually, it, it hinders articulation a bit, and I honestly wish this could have been a cloth cape or at least a more rubbery material. Um, I don't know why they didn't go with soft goods. I know they did that with um, with Kylo Ren, but this, I mean, it's nice. It's it's nicely sculpted, and I like the red trim, but this gets in the way, and there's no way of taking it off because um, I was curious to see maybe we could take the head off, but that is on their tight, and I don't want to risk uh, damaging the figure. But um, other than that, those are like the only few things I have an issue with this figure. But other than that, it looks good. I mean, I like the figure. Uh, it's very tall. I'm going to do a quick comparison between her and a First Order Stormtrooper. And yeah, look at that. She's huge compared to this guy. And so she's not just a repackaged uh, Stormtrooper. She towers over this guy. So I think that's cool. So her only accessory she has is her blaster. I'm going to take a look at that. So, um, I don't know. I kind of feel the pain ass were kind of sloppily on these. Uh, but so when I got this and I was like, okay, so where she's gonna hold her blaster? Then I took a look and it's like, oh wait, so there are peg holes over here. You just take uh, the blaster and it pegs in like that. So so I thought that was kind of cool. They did that. I mean, it would have been nice if they would have had actual holsters, but it's, it's not too bad. So articulation on Phasma. So head does that. Um, there is a hinge in the neck. Looks about that up, looks down. Okay, so there is kind of a ab crunch. A little bit side to side. Uh, no waist articulation, but that's okay. Um, there are ball joints in the shoulders. That one moves pretty good. This is gonna get hindered by the cape, which I kind of have an issue with. Uh, single joints in the elbows, which I wish we had double joints, but not in the world. Um, wrist articulation, have a hinge. Uh, there is a inner thigh swivel. Legs can move up, but they don't move that high up, which kind of bugs me because this guy can go all the way up. So, boo on them. Uh, so, double joints in the knees. And we got a really good ankle pivot. So, yeah, so it's kind of fast. I mean, it's a good figure. I'm not, uh, we'll say that. Uh, there are some things I wish could have been a little bit done better. Um, I'm honestly going to see if I can get a cloth cape made uh, for this because this is really bugs me a lot. But um, other than that, I mean, I think it's a good figure. I mean, I know it's it's everyone it's on everyone's want list, but um, and not to say it's a bad figure, but I say if you find her, pick her up, and hope you enjoyed watching.